Son dos cosas diferentes. Tú me enseñaste eso. A veces pienso que el que yo fuera tan tajante en cosas de ese tipo pudo ser lo que nos separó. No. Estabas en lo cierto. Iden, si hubiera sido un poco más flexible, si hubiera estado dispuesto a escucharte cuando lo que sentías hacia tu padre y lo que él deseaba que se hiciera, no puedes todavía estaríamos. Por ello. Tenías razón. Después de lo de mi padre, perdí todo respeto por mí misma. Y solo ahora empiezo a recuperarlo. Si le fuera infiel a Kirk. Por favor, da media vuelta y sal por la puerta. No quiero someterme a esta prueba. Y de nadie te está pidiendo que le seas infiel. Oye, ¿por qué no sales de ahí antes de que te mueras de frío? Mira, cerraré los ojos. Además, estás cubierta de espuma. Has dicho que cerrarías los ojos. Se me ha olvidado. I think I'll double up on the push. No, like so. <laughs> yeah. Have a good time. Hi, Julia. Hi. How are you? It's nice to see you. And who do we have here? What? Is this Pearl? Is this Pearl looking so elegant and tray chic and uh, like a paying guest? I'll tell you what, my friend Stranger thinks I'm happy. I mean, you look like a bearded F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm going to take that as a compliment, okay? Listen, both have a nice time tonight, okay? Hey, thank you. Yeah. Did you say F. Scott Fitzgerald? Hey, so what? You know who he is? Was. What do you think? I've never been to the movies. The more I know about you, Pearl, the less I know. Well, how about let's gamble? Okay, let's see what you know about that. Okay, I know a lot about you. Mm -hmm. you Sam, did you make that phone call yet? No. Nope. Why not? Tell him, I really feel you ought to make the call yourself. Look, you want to be partners out here. Don't give me flack about taking care of business. Oh, but is it business? It seems to me that it's slopping over into the personal area. <clears throat> Sam, don't give me any lip service. Just make the phone call. You know, old buddy, you're really running up a big tab on our friendship account. I want you to realize that. You gonna make the phone call or not? Lately, Brick has been so angry that he's not sleeping. I found him in the garage two o'clock this morning working on his motorcycle. You're kidding. You figure. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Nick. Uh, it's Sam. Is Kelly in? Yeah, she is. Hold on a minute, Sam. Kelly, it's for you. Sam? Hold on a second. <laughs> Hello? Kelly, hi. It's uh, me, Sam. Sorry to bother you. Look, there's some business we need to talk to you about tonight. Can you make it out to the casino? Is it you who wants to see me, or are you calling for Dylan? Yeah, you got me. It's Dylan. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, look, um, why don't you bring Nick on along with you? You know, it's been a long time. I haven't seen him. It'd be nice. 
You know, as a matter of fact, I was planning on coming to the casino tonight anyway. And I will bring Nick. Great. Then I'm going to expect both of you here as soon as possible, right? Right. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. You're darn right I'm coming with you. They want to talk about business, that's all. Fine. I have some stuff to finish up in the dark room and I'll be ready to go. Amy, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I think nothing of it. I was just leaving. <laughs> I'm sorry about the No, it's all right. Anyway, would you mind asking Brick? No, but I can't promise anything. I know. I just don't like feeling like I have gained a half-brother and lost a friend, you know? I'd like to sit down and try and straighten these things out. No, it's worth a try, but honestly, I don't know that he's quite ready for it. All right, will you just try, please? Yeah. Listen, I asked Ted to come with me tonight. What about Eden? I don't know. I've been trying to reach her, but there's no luck so far. I don't know where she is. Tengo que vestirme. Bien. I think that Dylan is playing games with us. I hope not. Anyway, I'm glad you're going with me. I wouldn't have it any other way. And believe me, it's not that I don't trust you. I do. The one I don't trust is Dylan. I never will. That lie that he told me that he slept with you. Listen, Nikki, you know what? I, I think I'm going to ask Daddy to get somebody to fill in for me. I don't want to have to keep going out there every day. I hope you do. I will then. I love you so much. I love you too. Talk's cheap. <laughs> don't tell me you don't know by now. Then remind me. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, Nick. Ah. Give me a Kelly. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'll be ready in one minute. Oh, that's great. No rush. Listen, Nick's going with us, okay? Oh, oh, well, fine. Super, hey, oh, my gosh. Well, I tell you guys, I thought you'd never get it put away, but it soon looks like you guys are getting there. We keep trying. Listen, yeah. Ted, sit down. Is there anything I can get you? Oh, uh, no. No, thanks. I'm fine. Oh, hey, did you, uh, you guys read the write-up in the paper this morning about the casino? They're getting some good publicity. And doing good business. Yeah. Amazing. Looks like Dylan has finally found his gold mine. Uh, what was this? Yes? Good evening. Mr. Hartley sent me to bring Miss Capwell out to the casino. Yeah? So, who are you? I fly Mr. Hartley's helicopter. Mr. Hartley's helicopter? What? Since when does Mr. Hartley have a helicopter?
I don't want to hear her scream. I don't want to see her face ever again. You know, I never trusted those things. Yeah, well, it's more light than I can get out of a flashlight, and I'm gonna need all the help I can get to. Ayuda posible para arreglar los coches. ¿Cuánto tardarás? No mucho. Sería más fácil si nos hubiéramos marchado cuando Mark y Mary vinieran. Lo sé. Mientras podamos irnos esta noche, debería estar ya en casa y Santana debe estar esperándote. ¿Por qué me miras así? Santana esperándome. Bueno, di por sentado que tú... ¿Por sentado qué? Que tú y ella vivíais juntos. Ah. Pues ya ves, ¿no? Bien, me he equivocado. Sí. Eso es. Te has equivocado. Bueno, sé que hay algo realmente especial entre los dos y me alegro por ti. ¿Te alegras? Sí, quiero que seas feliz. ¿Así? ¿Ah, sí, así es. Muy bien. Y ahora que ya sabes que no vivimos juntos, ¿hay alguna otra cosa que te gustaría saber como si estamos o no durmiendo juntos? No. No quiero saber nada más. Sí, ya. Por lo menos sabes cómo me siento cuando pienso en ti y en que ir juntos. Es muy difícil convivir con los celos, ¿no crees? Cruz, siento mucho lo ocurrido. No hay nada por lo que disculparse. Cruz, solo una cosa. Sí. Probablemente sea la última vez que estemos juntos. Y quería darte las gracias por entender mi situación y ayudarme. No va a ser la última vez que estemos juntos. Tienes que ayudarme a que así sea. Por el bien de todos. Escúchame y no te olvides de esto. Soy tu hombre. Y no importa con quién estés, una parte de ti estará siempre conmigo. Algún día te darás cuenta de que no puedes vivir sin mí. Grábate estas palabras. Thanks. 
I'm sure Kirk is probably uh, worried to death. <laughs> Mark, you want to take this wood and use it in the bedroom fireplace? Yeah, yeah, okay. Excuse us, Eden. Yeah. and go back to cruise. No, I can't risk it. But the propane, now that someone else is there, they'll have to leave. I can't wait till it gets going. There is something about falling asleep with a fire in a fireplace. Does that mean you want to stay? Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I I don't think it's a, a good idea if we make love. Well, you've got strong convictions. It's one of the things I love about you. I wonder if that's the real reason, though. What do you mean? Is there another reason? Isn't that enough? Mary, what I want to know... Maybe you don't really want me that way i mean if, if you don't then maybe you're never really going to want to marry me mark don't ask me that right now i can't answer you all yet all right yeah you said you wanted time i'm gonna go help crew is working this mark car. i am sorry if i've hurt you <sighs> nobody likes to be rejected it's not rejection it's it's uncertainty yeah okay Look, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment or something here, but if... If Mason asked you to marry him before you broke off, would you have said yes? I... I don't think that's a fair question. I certainly can't answer it. Okay, then I'll answer it for you. I think you would have. That's a pretty big assumption, don't you think? I don't know, Mary. I know you pretty well. Maybe I understand you better than you do yourself. Maybe it's time for you to take a look in the mirror and, and ask yourself why you... You, you hold out for this impossible dream. Is that what you think I'm doing? Yes, it seems that way to me. You had a dream of achieving perfection in the condo. Well, and then you had this dream of a, of a rich life with Mason, a man who's entirely wrong for you. And all the time you're overlooking what's real and what's good and what's possible right on your front doorstep. Mary, if you keep this up, someday you're going to wake up and you're going to decide you've had enough disappointment. And you're going to realize that I am really right for you. And I might not be there anymore. I know that, Mark. I just don't know what else I can do. Fine. As long as you got the picture. my lucky night oh no are you uh are you in the hole here no i'm off 20 it's just not enough well 20 bucks yeah, sounds pretty good for me you're right i should quit while i'm ahead yeah. are you in no i think i've had it for the night thank you can we eat now i'm starving oh yeah I'm sure we can grab a table right That's over good. there good. You know? good. good all right let's Take go the the way I see it, luck is a very sacred thing. I mean, you don't want to go... Excuse me. You don't want to go screwing around with... It. Hey, Ted! Hey! Hi! Hey, what's up? Uh, I, I need to talk to one of the men. I'll be right back. Okay. 
So, uh, where were we? I don't know. Where were we when? Oh, well, a little while ago, you hadn't finished explaining to me about why you left criminal law. Uh, what's the problem? The business was bad or the criminals just didn't like you? No, that wasn't the problem. I had a good job in a prosecuting office in Phoenix. I didn't like them. Wait a minute. You had a job in a... With a prosecutor, that's very reputable. Why, why, why'd you quit? I handled a couple cases that sort of dimmed the luster for me. Uh, what kind of cases would that be? You sent, uh, you sent too many people to prison, is that it? Innocent people. No, it was the other way around. There were too many guilty people that got off on technicalities. Too many deals made, too many tricks pulled. I just lost faith in the legal system. And since I really couldn't do much about it, I decided just to get out and go into my own practice. So now, you're your own boss, is that it? <laughs> How you doing? I'm managing, I'm managing. So what about you? It, me? I manage. Yeah, it, uh, you sure you don't want to go back there and uh, gamble some more? You don't like to talk about yourself right. too much, do you? Right. Right. <laughs> eh, nah, too much. Looks like your, your nephew is really doing well in the money over there. Uh, Warren. Ted, Ted. You're your lucky night, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. Listen, I, I just want to ask you if you've uh, heard from Lakin lately. Yeah, the other day. She still doesn't want you bothering her. Don't no worry, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to bug you about it. I'm just curious. I really don't think you can... Do it any other way, Ted. I mean, we seem to be family now. We share the same bastard half-brother. That, uh, it does make us family, doesn't it? But I think that's stretching a bit. Hey there. Seems to be a lot of action at this table and not too pleasant. Well, some of it is, Aunt Julia. I seem to be doing just fine here. Yeah. What kind of stakes you playing? Oh, higher all the time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Or lost either. I don't think your folks are going to be too crazy about this. Don't do that to me, Aunt Julia. They're living their life, I'm living mine. And you, uh, you're obviously living yours, too. We know the kind of company you're keeping. Don't do that, Warren. Bill happens to be a real nice guy. No, I don't mean to be rude here. I just want to get back to playing, okay? You've already been rude. So, let's, uh, let's get back to work here, okay? Uh, Warren, I want you to start taking it easy. Don't, don't worry about me, bro. I'm doing just fine here. Hope you have enough money to cash in my chips when it's all over with. All right, now I'm going to be waiting right out here for you while you're in seeing Dylan. Don't you let him try to intimidate you. I won't. Now, are you sure you won't have dinner with Ted and break in the afterwards? Yes, I think you'll be better off just with family. I'm going to hang around the casino. You don't mind? Nope. Well, thank you. Here goes. What time are you taking your dinner break tonight? Uh, I, I don't know, baby. Why? Why? Well, Kelly invited us to have dinner with her, and I'd love to go. I guess I kind of accepted for us. I hope you don't mind. I'm supposed to have dinner with Nick and Kelly? I don't know that Nick will be there. I know that Ted and Kelly will be. I don't believe this. I'm sorry. I know I should have asked you first. What do, what do they want to see me about? She's just trying to be friendly. She wants to get to know you better. After all, you are her half-brother. Half-brother. What am I supposed to say to her? How, how great it is to be a Capwell? Come on now, she's just trying to be friends. Amy, it's not as easy as that. I know. Well, then why didn't you say... Excuse me, Mr. Boyle. Yes. Any you joke on this check? Warren Lockers? Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait a second, he was up a minute ago. What, did he blow the whole thing in one hand? On two. I can't say I'm going to cry. Are you going to okay? No, not me. I don't want to get involved in this. His parents don't want him gambling, and he's carrying on like Mississippi Jim. Look, I'll take it to Dylan. If he okays it, fine. I'll bring it back to you, all right? Capitals and lockers. I don't know who I hate for. Excuse me? Okay, Sam, you can take off now. No, Sam. Stay. I'm here as partner. Look, that was not a slight to Sam. I explained to him earlier that I wanted to speak with you alone. And what about? No, no, no. no that's okay, Kelly. I've got some things I've got to attend to. Talk to you later. Uh-huh. Hey, Rick. Hi, Sam. Uh, I need a check okay. What you got? Warren Lockridge wants his uh, check cashed. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Rick. Why the check? I thought he was doing great earlier. 
Well, he was, but alas, no more. Well, good. The better for us. Thanks. Yeah. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? Please do. Well? How is it living in Nick's little apartment? Not very Capwell-esque, is it? What is it you wanted to see me about, Dylan? Nick is waiting for me outside. Mm. Of course. What was the name of the dog that guarded the gates of hell? It wasn't Nick. No. Anyway, I have this for you. It's this week's receipts and Rick's deposit slips. Oh, well, thank you. But uh, you could have sent that by messenger. You didn't need to come bring me out here by helicopter. Oh, I thought that was a nice touch, didn't you? Yeah, I thought you thought so. Where'd you get a helicopter anyway, Dylan? I'm leasing it to shuttle the VIPs back and forth, give the place a little class. Yeah, and run up the overhead. So come on, what is it you really wanted to see me about? I wanted to see if you were behind the plan of your father trying to buy me out. Was it your idea? I didn't know he tried. Yeah, he came by earlier. Made me a pretty spectacular offer for Sam and I's 20%. Well, if it was so spectacular, why didn't you take him up on it? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Then Lionel Lockridge came by and made me an even better offer. Well, look, obviously Daddy and Lionel are both fighting for controlling interests around here. So you didn't have anything to do with it? No. Anyway, what difference would it make? Well, I just wanted to let you know I'd save you the trouble. I'm not going to sell, Kelly. You're not going to get rid of me that easy. Look, Dylan, I don't care whether you stay or go, because I'm going. And that is the reason I came out here tonight, to let you know that as soon as my father fills a place in for me, I won't be working with you anymore. Why is that? And stand the heat? Body heat? I know you feel it. It's like I feel it now. Dylan, I don't want to play games with you, all right? Leave me alone. Tell you what, I got a look at the menu and uh, why don't we go out for a burger and a frat? How's that sound? Oh, now that's interesting. What? I haven't heard a milkshake referred to as a frat since I was in New England. Is that where you're from? Oh, well, I study lots of foreign lingos, including uh, Massachusetts. Yeah? Yeah. What's your story, Pearl? I'm just being me. Just being you. Well, stay there, you. I want to go say goodnight to my nephew. Hey, way ahead again, bro. Yeah, I covered, see. Covered that check and a lot more. Good. Warren. Oh, hi, hi. Look, I'm, I'm going to need a Brinks truck here in a minute. Care to join me? No, actually, I just say, came to say goodnight. Oh, goodnight. You know, that's a lot of money you're playing with, and it can get lost real easy. <sighs> or vice versa. Don't worry about me, Julia. There he is. I'm going to go try and talk to him. Sure, go ahead. Hey, Sam. You, you remember me? Nick, I'm sorry, man. I didn't see you. You seem upset. Yeah, well, it's that brother of yours. And what has he done now? Name it. Yeah, now that the casino's doing well, he seems to feel that he can buy whatever he's been missing all of his life. Such as? Ah, skip it. This we'll talk later, okay? Rick, wait a second. Yeah? Listen, Amy told me you were a little upset by my dinner invitation. Yeah, I, I guess so. Look, I really don't want to pressure you or, or pretend like we have to have some, some kind of instant closeness. Good, because uh, that would be difficult. Rick, I know it's awkward. It's, it is for all of us. But I really think we should try and figure out what we want it to mean to us. Don't you? Kelly... What I'm feeling is an awkwardness. I just feel that you're drawing me into something that I'm not ready for. And I, it's just happening a little too fast for me, that's all. Rick, it's just a dinner. Can we at least give it a try, please? 
Come on, be a pal, be a pal. Just let me take the copter back to shore. Why? Okay? So you can impress your date? Yeah, well, can you think of a better reason, huh? I promise you the chopper will be in great shape when I bring it back. No scratches. How you doing, Sam? How you doing, bro? Well, I'm not so sure. Uh, just wait a second. Come on, Dylan, please. Just this once. Just this once. Okay, all right. Just this once. But I'm don't great. make a habit of it. Oh, no problem. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> right. Oh, what helicopter is he talking about? Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm writing it off as a business expense. Dylan, we can't afford to spend money just so that you can deduct it. Then why don't you tell me about it first? Well, I'm leasing it. I did it on impulse. I didn't get a chance to talk to you about it. All right, and I know how your impulses have to be satisfied right away. Dill, I don't understand you anymore. <laughs> What's to understand? I'm enjoying the success. Well, hey, man, that's cool. If that's the kick, then why don't you take C.C. Capel up on his offer to buy us out? I mean, he's offering us more <clears throat> money than our cut's worth. You could pay Nick back. We could be out of here just like we planned. That's not the game plan anymore, my friend. I've changed my mind. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I've decided to stay. Well, let me just take a wild guess why. You feel like you need more time to steal your brother's girlfriend. Are you way out of line, Sam. Yes, I'm out of line. And I'm also fed up. Now, you hang around here. Maybe I should just sell my half and be on my own way. No, you won't. Well, what's going to stop me? I am. You don't have anything on paper, Sam. We've already given away a big enough percentage as it is. Oh, I don't believe that you're saying this. I am. Sam, I wanted that gold mine so bad I could taste it, and now I've stumbled onto something that is just as good. I am tired of chasing rainbows, and now I've gotten a hold of one. I'm not going to get let go of it until I get that pot of gold. You mean the profit from this place? Or Kelly? Both. You're out of your mind, oh, Come on, Sam, please. Just relax. No, I mean this. If we didn't go back so far, and if I wasn't still hoping that you'd wake up out of this dream of yours, I would leave you right now and take my shares with me. You have changed, Dylan. And the old model was a hell of a lot cleaner. Hope they can get those cars going. I hope that Cruz is good with cars, because I don't think Mark is. <laughs> well, I think he is. If we're lucky enough, at least we can get one of them started so we can leave you and Mark alone together. Yeah. Eden, I hope that, I hope that you're not mad that Mark and I left you and Cruz alone before. No, no, it was good. No, I shouldn't have tried to arrange things no. like that. I hate that no, kind of thing. No, it was good. It really was. I let him know that I need to try to make things work with Kirk. I really hope everything turns out the way you want it to. Thank you. You know, it's just that you get these feelings sometimes. They're so overpowering. It's like they're frightening, you know? Yeah. I think I do know. Are there any other cabins down the road? Why? Uh, I just saw a car parked a little ways back, that's all. Man, I don't know. I've only been up here a couple of times. Can I have that bed screwdriver for <laughs> Thanks. Nice place for a vacation, huh? Yeah. Too bad I went and blew it. What do you mean? Oh, I said some things to Mary. I ruined the weekend and probably everything else. Well, you know, Mark, I have found the best solution in that circumstance is to apologize and try to start over from the beginning. Yeah, you're right. In fact, uh, here she comes now. How's it going? I think we almost got it going. Mary, come here. Mary, I'm, sm I'm sorry for what I said upstairs. It's all right. You forgive me? Sure, Mark. Well, I think that's about it, campers. Well, you want me to get in and start it up? No, thanks. I can manage the rest, but thank you for helping me, man. All right. I'll be in in a minute. Come on, I'll walk in. All right. Listen, if you're going to take that lantern with you, I don't need it now. Actually, I'll leave it here just in case you need it, all right?
make yourself at home as much as you can. Uh, do you want, do you want some cognac? Cognac? Yeah, well, I keep some around to clean stereo on you. I think I'll pass. Maybe next time. Yeah. Listen, I, um, I had a good time tonight. Okay. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, remember, you, you owe me a fancy, dancy big dinner. Hey, okay. hey, 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 I sprung for the hamburgers and the fraps. Oh, we're talking uh, junk food there, sweetheart, remember? All right, all right, maybe one day I will take you to a nice French restaurant. Yeah. Would you know what to order? Oh, uh, sure, uh, French fries. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm not falling for your country bumpkin routine anymore, uh, Pearl. All of a sudden I find out you know about wines, you know about Moroccan rugs, mm -hmm. you even know about writers. Well, I'll tell you what. When you cannot hold down a job for more than three months at a time, you get what I call a well-rounded education. You see, I've always been lucky enough to get fired before I learned too much about any one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's more to it than meets the ear. Hey, well, wait a minute, where are you going? Where's the, uh, where's the fire? There's no fire. I just uh, have some reading to do before I go to bed. Oh, well, I guess if you, you have to do that, Cinderella, you... <laughs> uh, you gonna see me again? Sure. Sure, I will. Thanks. Um, soirée avec une belle femme je désire la rencontre la rencontre Kelly? Uh-huh. Sorry, I don't have time to stand around and talk, but I've been a busy man these days. So I've heard. But, you know, there is something, though, that I can do. Uh, how much is it that I owe you? Is it 5000 10 Forget it. No, I want you paid up. I don't want to owe you the time of day. What I did was for the love of my brother. But since he no longer exists, as far as I'm concerned, the books are closed. Maybe you'd better reconsider. You're going to need every dollar you can get your hands on to keep Kelly. I don't want anything from you. Suit yourself. Your loss is my gain. And there'll be others. Look, I know it is real awkward for all of us, but we just want to get to know you better, Greg, and for you to know us. Okay, so we'll do that. Well, you're our brother. Whether you like it or not, you are. So, so you matter to us. And I think we all want to matter a little to you. If that's the way it's supposed to work, isn't it? Hello, Nick. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. I got your message, but I wanted to speak to you in person. Nick, there's no easy way to tell you this, but I'm just going to lay it right on the line. Now, as you know, I had a couple hundred copies of your book printed up for test market. And I'm sorry to tell you, but they're just not selling. And so our marketing people have decided not to go ahead with 
general publication. Questions, or I can't think of any. Okay. No, it's all great, Eden. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you have as much fun here as I always have. Oh, I know we will. <laughs> Listen, I want to go out and see if I can get that propane tank to work one more time. Okay, uh, let me put these tools away and I'll be all set to go. Well, I guess that's about it. We'll be taking off. Eden, thanks for everything. Now, listen, you two drive safely. Oh, we will. Don't worry. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Let's get out!